Okay, I won't say it. I'll say the C word. All right, let's talk about. It. Let's talk. You want to do? You want to do politics now? Okay. So let's talk about it. Let's start with the C word discourse. Okay, since that seems like a good way to do it. So, okay, everyone. Sometimes, sometimes you find yourself out at the store. Okay, and when you're out at the store, you might be trying to do your thing, and then you might feel that the service is just really bad and you might start complaining you might go oh my god i want to talk to your manager i want to talk to your manager right now and you might find yourself doing that okay and then if you keep screaming and threaten to call the cops like any rational person would do then um you might find somebody call you a c word it rhymes with acker, but starts with a C. And they might even use another word, like Karen. These are racial slurs. Do not use them. They are racist. Racist, I tell you. And you will be reported. You will be reported to your manager. You will be called to the cops. I will sue you. My husband is a lawyer. My husband is a lawyer. How dare you use the K word and the C word on me? I am one one sixteenth Irish. Irish people used to be used to be racially discriminated against. I can't handle this pressure. Okay, uh, all, all, uh, all nonsense aside. Guys, come on. This is the stupidest discourse ever. It's bad faith. It's always been bad faith. Um, no, it is not even close to, uh, like, racist in the exact same way, uh, to call somebody a, a, a C word, okay? This whole thing is bullshit, okay? Ugh. <sighs> The reality is that uh, people uh, uh, upset, fragile reactionaries uh, need the world to look as though there is no more racism anymore. They need they need the racism to have been left in the 1960s before they were born, where they don't have to think about it. Um, and so um, what they do is they pretend that they're very, very offended Um about the C word, you know, they, they pretend that it's so bad and that it's so racist. And then you ask them, you go, okay, so if that's true, like, how does it hurt you? How does it make you feel when you hear the C word? And they go, well, I don't know. You know, it just makes me feel, mm, it makes me feel, it makes me feel like I'm not, well, I don't know, but it's not nice. They never have any reason because the reality is, would I agree that it's a slur though? Only in the loosest term right? Like, uh, sure, there's lots of things that are slurs. Is Karen a slur? You could define it as that. Is bitch a slur? Yeah, you could probably define bitch as a slur. Is, uh, there's all kinds of words that are slurs. Um, but, but the, uh, but the thing is, is that we can recognize there were slurs of different intensity, um, and that there are slurs that are especially relevant, um, as a wheat thin, yeah, sure. Wheat thins are fine. Um, and, and, uh, but we can acknowledge that it's a lot about, about a lot about context, right? So, uh, let's, let's think about this, right? So like there are slur words that are slurs in Eastern Europe that are not slurs in America and never will be considered a slur in America, even though they are literally a slur in Eastern Europe because of religious and ethnic conflicts in that area. Um, that, uh, uh, th there, there are conflicts and, 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 and history in that area that change the context of the word itself. Um, and, and so I, I just don't really, I can't really get behind the idea that like, I'm supposed to take cracker. I, uh, I mean like crackers, like cracker barrel, you know, I, I like, I'm supposed to take that seriously as a slur. And there's a couple of reasons for that. Um, and we actually talked about this with the, uh, with the G word, 
uh, uh, discourse. Do it. Does anybody remember that with the, yeah, with the Gusano, uh, discourse, um, where I said, I think, I don't think that it's like a slur that's on the same level as like the N word. Um, it, but there is, but, but there is certainly something to be said about it. I think even less could be argued about, about cracker. Okay. Like, like, first of all, Cracker isn't even targeted at anybody. It's not even targeted at a specific group. It's just a incredibly broad term for, like, annoying white person. And is that really, like, is that really something that's, like, uh, is that really something that's worth making a big deal out of? I, I just don't, I just don't think so. I really just don't. Who, a lot of people were complaining about it. On, like, yeah, it was stupid. So, um... The C word refers to slave masters cracking whips. Um, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, I just don't. I just. Nah. Nah. Guys, I just don't think it's that severe. I just don't. And if you, if you, if you don't believe me. Okay, here's the challenge. Ready? Are you ready? Here you go. Here's the challenge. Go outside right now. And yell the word cracker in a crowded location. Then do it again with the n-word okay all right which one do you think anyone is going to give a shit about watch this watch this ready i'll open my window and scream the word cracker watch this oh, mama. cracker done just did it nothing nothing to worry about i literally just opened my window and just did it i'm not doing the other one could you say, is there an argument to be made? Uh, is there an argument to be made that the C word is a slur of some form? Of course, there are many things that could be a slur, okay? Um, like I said, almost anything could be. Uh, but the reality is that the impact is not the same. And it is not a double standard to say that you're okay with saying one word that doesn't do any demonstrable harm versus saying another word that does do demonstrable harm because guess what the using a slur like the n-word absolutely does demonstrable harm it is a word that is designed and has a literal centuries as in with an s centuries long context as being a word used to dehumanize to marginalize to disempower and to harm people so it's not the same thing and um and my final take on this is very simple boohoo cracker boohoo that's that's the end of my that's the that's that's the the final take right there and if twitch feels it necessary to ban me for that i'm reclaiming it okay as a person of white color i am uh, uh a a a a person of pow as a person of white um <laughs> i'm reclaiming it okay as as Mayo American, yeah. Oh yeah, I can say I can say honky. Oh, ooh, ooh, we're getting racial up in here. Okay, guys, come on. Guys, did anybody seriously think I was gonna have like a like an extremely in depth segment on this? About come on, like it's so straightforward. Let's just be real. You can say what with a hard H. <sighs> okay cornstarch crusader yeah listen we just have to you have to just keep moving the uh the thing guys if you're listen okay if you're a white person who's offended by the word cracker stop just stop it is actually that simple like i know that it probably feels a little invalidating um for someone to tell you some for like a for like a, a whitey like me to tell another whitey like you uh to stop being angry about something i'm sure that feels um, you know, very, very invalid or whatever. Um, but I just, I, I just want you to know, just get over it. The sooner you get over it, the happier of a person you will be. Okay. It is literally so small of a problem. You deserve to be laughed at if you're genuinely offended by, uh, by the word, the word cracker. You have, you have, you are not ready for living in a world. 
if that's what offends you. You are defin definitionally a snowflake. Okay? Yeah. Um, yeah, that's about all I have to say about that, right? Yeah. No, literally, if you screamed cracker in a room, in a crowded room of white people, everyone would react and it would be to laugh because it is funny. Recognize your white privilege? I am. I am you recognizing, I am recognizing and reclaiming my, I am, I am, I am, listen, everybody, I am not only recognizing but I am here right now self-flagellating like an SJW by fighting for the right of people to say the word cracker. Oh, I need to get, oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for the, oh wait, my ancestors were dying in Eastern Europe when all of this shit went down in America, so fuck you guys, but oh, I apologize on behalf of all white people. You can use the slurs against us, please. Oh. Oh, I, be I apologize on behalf. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, that's a good one, Argo. If someone's calling me a cracker, I'm happy because it means that I'm not being called the tea slur. True! Ow! But true! Yeah, but people do be kind of mean to the whites occasionally. what oh oh did you see a twitter thread where somebody said mayo side now Ooh -hoo. Ooh -hoo. i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i didn't pay tribute to you hold on let's have a moment of silence for you having to have the horror of seeing a twitter thread that disagrees with you hold on I'm just, I'm tearing up from all the victims of Mayo side. All of the, nobody who's ever died from Mayo side. 